Hey YouTube, video write-up for ICTF 2018. We actually just made it to third place. We solved Secret Recipe. Uh, I tied for a second, so that's kind of neat. Just wanted to showcase that. Anyway, let's jump into the real good stuff. This is the third web challenge for the competition, and I don't know how to pronounce this name because I don't speak Icelandic, um, but whatever. It... The challenge prompt here says, Eve wants to make the hottest new website for job searching on the market. An avid PHP developer, she decided to use the hottest new framework, Laravel. I don't think she knew how to deploy websites at this scale, however, and it gives us a link that we can work with and navigate to. So let's go check it out in a new tab. And it says, okay, welcome. This is a site. Neat. We can view the source, look at stuff if we particularly wanted to. Um, it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on that is supposedly with the Laravel PHP debug bar. Um, we can totally take a look at this if we want to. Um, I poked around and looked at some of the request variables and uh, the views, see if I could reach any of them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, try to access some variables, but it didn't end up actually getting me anywhere. Um, while I was poking, but it was kind of neat to see. Uh, this was the first time I'd ever actually seen this PHP debug bar or anything kind of with Laravel, I don't know, testing and stuff like that. Cool. So if you poke around, you can actually go to other web pages up here. This navigation bar has the home page, which we're at, and the jobs, which looks like it just gives us a listing of different kinds of jobs. So if we were to click one software developer, looks like we could potentially apply to it if we were to give it like information. So blah, 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 blah. We hit apply here, but nothing else happens. So if we wanted to go back home or view the jobs again, hit the back button, whatever you want to do, you could do this over and over again and explore some of them, but none of them particularly do anything. So at one point while I was poking around, I kind of just stumbled upon this, and it sounds like, at least through conversation in the Discord and through other people, um, that this is just kind of what happened with them as well. They, they stumbled upon it, and it happened on accident, where, let's say you were looking at a job, and you went back to click on jobs, and it would move you to jobs jobs in the URL, and suddenly you would be popped at a, like, stack like traceback, an error message, an exception thrown for Laravel. This is the debug that you'd normally see if you found an error in Laravel programming. So you can see, okay, we've got the flag right here, ICTF, you found a bug. That's pretty neat. Fine. Interesting thing, though, what's actually happening is that, okay, it must be getting these aliases from other functions that may be reading it from a file or something. But So since we could normally just view jobs very, very easily by clicking on the link, if we were to view the jobs page or click on it, while already at the jobs, like a specific job input page, like a apply page, for whatever reason, okay, the routes got messed up, we jump in, we get an error, and ICTF, you found a bug. Same thing would have happened if rather than a uh, job data that we had seen or known weren't there, like if I went to please subscribe, obviously we'd get the error message in the debug thing. Um, we could probably scrape this out if we particularly wanted to. Um, let's make this challenge, like, third web. If I could curl this, maybe. Gross. Whatever. Um, let's grep for only ICTF. And looks like we find a couple hits. Let's just get the first one. And let's make this quiet. Am I not doing that right when I say curl tech you? Maybe. Okay, it looks like it is curl tech S for silent, and I instead want head the first one. I just want the first occurrence, not all of them, because I was getting the very, very last one, and that had a very long line. So let's put that in our flag.txt, and we can certainly just copy this and make it our get flag script. So just kind of an easy regular expression, steal the flag out, just fine. Make that do its thing. And then we are good. Perfect. We can mark that challenge as complete, and we're done. So just poking around, just exploring, doing a little doing a little reconnaissance in our own homework. Quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say it enough. $1 a month or more on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live. So since I'm recording all of these video write-ups in bulk, after the game is over and I can actually share them without being prosecuted by game administrators, <laughs> not, not actually prosecuted, just, you know, 
Flame Wars on the internet and stuff. Um, you could you could view them all without waiting for YouTube to schedule the uploads. Uh, they'd just be ready and available in a shared Google Drive folder. So five dollars a month. That's all. If you did like this video, if you're into CTFs, you're into infosec, you're in for cybersecurity, blah blah blah. Uh, please do join our Discord server. Link in the description. Cool community of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. You can hang out with me and other really awesome people. Sweet. Thanks. Please do like this video, comment, subscribe, share, all those other YouTube algorithm stuff. I don't know. Get out of my face.